A minus 2x. Good boy. Retain the 3y? Um, A 3y, plus 3y. Okay, and? Minus 6. All right, now, here's what you have to do. This is a negative. This is a positive. Mm -hmm. I want to change into this form right here. Mm -hmm. Therefore, what must I do through here? Multiply it by A minus 1. Good boy. All right, now, following this down through here, Constant term C, constant term 6. Y value, Y value, X value, X value. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Jim loved his sports. The kids loved him. They went over to the lacrosse that last weekend. Jim sat there and I sat here next to him. And a number of kids came up and said, Hi, coach. How are you doing? Into the school. And they, they loved him. He knew all the kids. He knew their backgrounds. He counseled them. And if he... These kids needed his help all over academically, socially, etc. And he was a great religious man. He bought, he got to Catholic Church every Sunday. It was great. They set a good example. We know the cliche uh, of coaches that we love to play for. We call them uh, players' coaches. Coach was 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 a coach's AD. He would you would as a coach run through a brick wall for this AD because you knew he would do anything for you to support you. At the end of the day, it was all about kids for Coach. It was all about supporting everybody else. He's the most humble, uh, uh, unassuming, unselfish uh, person I've ever worked for and with. He was a, he was a father figure for me. He, uh, he taught me a lot of life's lessons. He gave me a good kick in the butt when I needed it. Uh, but he was always there uh, with his typical love and care and kindness uh, to support me and to provide advice. One day in the middle of winter, I'd say probably 10 to 15 years ago, the temperature was probably a crisp 15 degrees or so, tops. Jim bounded out of his office and said, Bobby, hey coach, I want to show you something. Follow me. We descended the gentle slope toward the waterfront our boots squeaking and crunching. Coach kept walking right onto the ice, just about where the dock started. He turned to me and he said, Isn't that beautiful, Bobby? We both looked toward the pinnacle in brief silence. It's unbelievable, Coach, I said. We walked back to the gym in relative silence. I was the sixth grader, 11 years old, and remember having to go down to the waterfront for my swim test. And I was scared as all get out. I was not having it. And no way was I getting in that water to do the swim test. Coach Marion won me over in three to five minutes with his smile. And in I went and did my swim test. Ten years ago, my brother Donnie was killed unexpectedly. Mr. and Mrs. Marion came to Orlando for the funeral. I still remember their arriving there at the wake, coming in and sitting with us. We were a mess. And yet Mr. Marion brought strength for us. He prayed with us and he helped us find some measure of peace for that moment. Mr. Marion showed us the value of hard work, dedication to your fellow man, and of not giving up. His legacy will live on in all of us who are fortunate enough to cross his path. You now there are generations of teachers out there, hundreds of us out there who, who see coaches the greatest influence in our professional lives. We're all at different points in our lives now. One of us heads a school, one of us is an assistant head. We all use the lessons that, that coach taught us in our daily lives, whether we're still teachers or not. And so coach's legacy is going to go on forever. There are so many of us who are teachers, who are teaching kids, 
and again, teaching the things that that coach taught us. I coach football at my school now, and I coach it with a whistle that Coach Marion gave me, and it's falling apart, and it's held together by tape, but I treasure that whistle, and I would never use another one because it reminds me of Coach. It reminds me of the things that he taught me, and every day I strive to live up to his legacy and that whistle is just a a small tangible part of that you never realize as a kid whenever you went anywhere when you went to the sandwich fair or you went to ski holiday or you went to mountain day or you went to senior ski holiday or you did eagle brook day or there was the wrestling tournament or whatever was going on there were all of these logistics behind the scenes and they didn't just happen miraculously Someone was responsible for those things, and Jim was the person that took care of a lot of those details all the time. To think about how he was able to manage all of these different schedules and for the, for the kids, it just amazes me as I think about it. Uh, I was lucky enough to know Coach Four. 47 years and over all that time one thing was very much constant Uh, it didn't matter what was going on around him or how bad his day might be going he always had that infectious positive attitude and and you knew it was genuine because of that wonderful smile Uh, we loved the man and we'll miss him dearly Uh, god bless you coach now by that i mean you must put five wine cubed and when you're combining the sums right here, under the negative six y cubed, you must put the power under the power, or exponent, the proper exponent under the proper exponent, like cubes under cubes, squares under squares, and straight down through it. You follow that? I think we'll, we're all better people for having known Jim and been able to share in his life and who he was as a person.